amazing to be in the kitchen giving your favorite recipes and ideas. Anyway, full recipe of some salmon and mashed potato and also vegetable and even we got some spinach also in the recipe. Enjoy the recipe, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below. Very important for me and the team. We got a lot more ideas and a lot more recipe coming out for you guys. Thank you so much for Nice and lovely. Welcome back to the kitchen with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. Anyway, today we're gonna do some mashed potato and some salmon. Spinach, vegetable, it's gonna be a wicked recipe this evening. Anyway, I got some potato which I'm already peeled already inside of my container right here. Um, we're gonna give you the full recipe of everything here. So, so first thing, I got some potato which I'm already prep, peel already. Only thing with the potato now is to go straight into the pot and get it mashed. All right, so this is a potato. Second thing is, I got a big pot right here, a medium sized pot, and all I'm gonna do is put the potato straight into the water like this. Just to make you guys see exactly what's going on right here. All right, that's the potato, all right? All I'm going to do is to cover it, and allow it for it to boil and cook. So that's the potato finish with. The next thing what we're going to do, you can add a little bit of salt if you like to, but I just boil my potato just, just like that. I don't add anything to it, okay? Second thing is the salmon. Let's go to the salmon. Nice one. So right here I have some salmon, two lovely pieces of salmon, which basically I'm gonna show you how you can marinate the salmon. So first thing what we're going to do is put on a pinch of mixed herb, got some paprika I'm gonna put on a teaspoon of paprika teaspoon of fish season this is some fish season And all I'm going to do is put some vegetable oil or olive oil, whatever you, which one you like to use. So basically, um, to marinate up this lovely salmon right here and I know you guys are going to love it so basically what we're going to do now is this This is a salmon right here. And I got a piece of grease proof paper right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put some spring onion. In at the bottom of it, the tray like this. And some thyme. Some white onion. You notice exactly what I'm doing right here. So, then 
garlic. So this is a salmon right here. So basically what we're gonna do, we're just gonna simply rub up the salmon together like this. It's just two big pieces of a salmon and I know you guys will love it, all right? So what we're going to do now is this. Put the salmon right on the season like this. And this piece of right here, and then simple. Nice one. Not finished as yet. So as you can see, we got the salmon layer right in the tray at the moment and the seasoning and the spring onion thyme and some garlic and all different kind of season. So basically, this is the way how it look at the moment as you can see right here guys. So what we're going to do now is simple, get a little piece of foil. and foil it, all right? Nice one. So I foil it, now we're going to put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it for roughly about 20 minutes in the oven and just mark nine. And a medium size eat or a high temperature like nine or eight is good for 20 minutes if you're using electric oven I would say 165 or 170 for it I sources we are talking about like 320 or 240 the least all right guys we're gonna place it in the oven for about roughly 20 minutes in the oven then we're gonna look at it all right enjoy the recipe subscribe to the channel leave your comments below thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo cooking show. Amazing recipe. Thank you so much. Lovely and nice. So right here guys, I got some spinach. A bag of spinach. Roughly one bag of spinach. And I'm just gonna simple, I washed them off already. I'm just gonna simple stir fry them with a little bit of pepper. All right, and a little bit of mixed herb. So that's the mixed herb. And this is a coarse pepper. Second thing, I got some chopped white onion, which I can also put with it. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna simply stir fry this up and then I'll show you how this look, all right? Nice and lovely. So right over here, I have a medium sized frying pan. And all I'm going to do is pop a little bit of olive oil. And put in the spinach. Pinch of salt. And a little bit of sweet chili sauce. So let's fry off this for about four minutes. As you can see, it's frying off at the moment. lovely so basically this is it right here so this is finished we don't need to go any further with this sweet chili spinach stir-fry spinach really nice so that's finished basically 
put that one side I don't know this can stay there at the moment all right nice one nice and lovely right here I have some broccoli baby corn and some bean and carrot what I'm going to do I'm just gonna boil off this for about five to six minutes right over here nice one so right over here I have a medium-sized pot on the stove with some water and all I'm going to do is pour it straight inside of it like this and boil up for about probably five to six minutes and that's it if you want to put a little salt you can boil it I don't put salt in my veg and I'm cooking it like that so guys stay tuned we're gonna show you all you can do yourself a lovely meal like this at home all right right over here is the potato so basically yeah don't don't break calm down right over here is the potato finish I'm gonna be mashing it now I'm gonna pour off the water off of the mashed potato and I'm gonna show you exactly what's taking place right over here all right so now this is finished now I'm gonna pour off it and we're gonna mash it I love this. So right over here, this is the mashed potato right here. This is the potato. And all I'm going to do is put a big large spoon of butter in it. Alright. Give it a lovely mix. Lovely and nice. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of milk to it. Give it a lovely spin. Stir again. Then what I'm going to do is use my mash and mash it, mash it, mash it. Mmm. can see exactly what is taking place right here nice one so as you can see right here guys there's nothing to hide everything is right here nice and lovely so what we're going to do now we're just waiting for the the carrot and the broccoli and the bean to cook and the baby can then we're gonna share it out all right nice and lovely so as you can see the water start boiling up that mean mm, mm, this must finish now yeah this finish we're gonna shear up this all right pour off this one nice and lovely so right now this is a fish yeah that is the fish so that looking lovely and nice mm. you can smell it the way it looking so yummy and nice you can smell it guys honestly all right so basically into half
into half. All right, let's taste this piece. Mm. Exactly what I'm talking about. Perfect. That's perfect. What we're going to do now is share it out. The best thing to do is to share it out. Lovely and nice. So basically, right here, I'm going to share it out. As you can see, this is a mashed potato right here. Um, right here, I'm just laying out some carrot at the side. So basically, guys, as you can see, exactly what is taking place right here. Then, what I'm going to do is simple, lay the spinach. All right, that's the spinach. Then simple next, what we need to do is to get this lovely piece of salmon. Just like this. As you can see, exactly what's taking place right here in the kitchen with Chef Ricardo cooking show guys it is just amazing all right so then basically we're going to put some broccoli we got some broccoli right here um and some baby corn So as you can see exactly what I'm talking about right there. That's a perfect meal guys and I know you guys will love that one. Very fantastic and really really nice. So hopefully you will enjoy it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching my show. We got a lot more ideas and a lot more recipe coming out here way. And as I said, you know what I mean? My name is Chef Ricardo and I represent Jamaica and the world. We will always come out with the best best recipe then all you need to do is simple link a bit of coarse pepper on top of the mash give it a good look and that will be it all right guys so stay tuned don't go anywhere we have a lot more recipe coming out and we have a lot more ideas and a lot more stuff and as you can see mashed potato with salmon and some mixed vegetable Really fantastic. So enjoy the recipe. Subscribe.